good time. So this is down in Stony Creek, just outside of Moncton, New Brunswick. And Jean-Marie has built some epic trails in here. They just go on and on. I think there's over 100 kilometers of trail. And a lot of it is single track and a lot of it is challenging. Some of it's very flowy and fast, but uh, Jam likes to make you work a little bit. So you could probably go down here and you could find yourself some of this trail and then you could find yourself lost and then you could find yourself feeding a bear with parts of your body that you would really rather keep and take home. So I don't recommend going down here and just mucking around by yourself. JM posts often that he's doing a ride. Go join JM and he'll look after you. Today we're a pretty small group and we're all relatively not evenly matched. There's some guys that are way faster, way more energy, uh, way more commitment to potentially running into a tree. I'm not one of those guys. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. We're out here to have a good time. It is an epic day. You can probably tell by the blue skies and the sun kind of percolating down through the trees. There's a little bit of moisture in the ground giving good traction. No complaints there whatsoever. It's just going to be a great day. Well, I think I'll be quiet for a little bit, let you enjoy the next minute or two of clip, and uh, yeah, I'll jump in with comments every now and then. Enjoy the ride. Man, that big 450 in front of me just accelerates fast when you get on the throttle. It is a, uh, I think it's a 450 SX, so it's a motocross bike here in the woods. It's a bit of a handful, and a handful of clutch to keep it from stalling, but holy smokes it flies. You know, rides like this, it's good. You get out with your buddies, and if they run into problems, you stop and you give them a little bit of a helping hand here. Uh, just ignore this part. riding in this area right into the winter. In fact, through the winter, uh, JM will keep about eight kilometers of trail open, uh, beating it down with his snow bike and uh, letting it freeze thaw. And we put the studs on the bikes and run these trails. So hopefully I'll get some footage of that this year. You want to stay on these bridges? The mud is deep on the other side. Yeah, ask me how I know that. Before the winter and all the deep snow and the freezing cold temperatures, we're going to have fall and that is just around the corner and a lot of these leaves on these trees are going to turn colors, reds and oranges and yellows before they fall off and it's going to be stunning. 
So I hope to get a few more rides in areas like this, and I'll do my sort of end of the year trip up Turtle Mountain, which has some really amazing views. And uh, I'll put out a video on that one too. say it again, I've said it in a couple of videos, I'm really impressed with how this suspension is now working. So if you recall, I was having some issues with the front forks. And they were just stock and they were due for servicing, but they were, they were really letting me down and, and it was just robbing me of my confidence. I had bought a Dosaggio XP1 kit way back when I first bought this bike and never installed it. So when I did the servicing, I installed it and you know what, I'm really, really happy with it. It's working really well. You getting your money's worth? Oh, yes. <laughs> Day's getting a little long. We've been riding a few hours now, and some of us are getting a bit tired, myself included. But you just, uh, days like this, you just don't want to stop riding, so you just keep going. We're getting into the trails now where it's a bit more technical, some side hills and some big hill climbs. So we're going to transition from here into some of the hill climbs and I hope you guys enjoy that but that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I'm just going to let it run out for the next couple minutes. <laughs> oh, tough start, tough start. 